Hey, what's up guys? What's going on? So, um, for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a new streaming service. Relatively new. It's been out for a couple of months. Um, and one of the things that um, I like to do is find out what else is better out there. Because usually when I find something that's like really cool and I think is really dope, um, eventually something comes along and knocks it off its pedestal. Now, the last um, app review I did for a social streaming service was Stream with the Dot. And I thought that app to be very stellar, on point, a couple of good features that I liked about it. Uh, but I found a new one called UPeak, which pretty much right now takes the cake. So you guys see the applications right there. I, one thing i got to say about the logo is it looks pretty cool. The mirrored E with the two dots in the center of the holes... Uh, makes it kind of look like like eyes or or binoculars, you know, in that, in that sense of you actually looking into something. So the logo, just I don't know if they meant to do that, if they realized that, or if they were just going with the mirrored double E's. But um, I gotta say, the logo is pretty much on point. I kind of like it. Um, not overly dazzling, you know, where it just seems like it's too cartoonish. Just you know, really laid down, laid back. And that's exactly uh, the experience with it. So let me go ahead and launch the app. And, um, you know, I spent, you know, the last week basically getting online and streaming. Now, this is your basic startup. Okay. As you guys can see, there's start right there. It tells you, please rotate for landscape mode. So if you want to stream in landscape mode, then you just basically turn your device and it will turn it into landscape mode, which, you know, gives you the option whether you want to, you know, stream in, in this way or if you want to stream in portrait. So that's always good. Options, always great. Now, a couple of things you'll see right here is you can type in what's happening, of course, basically giving a title to your, your broadcast. You can hashtag it, you know, because it's going to share to Facebook or Twitter, which is a good thing. And, um, you know, hashtags help get the word out <clears throat> of what you're going to be doing. So uh, you pretty much have that right there. Now, this is what's also pretty unique about this. You can pick a category. So, you know, here are some of the categories. Like, they have the AMA, diary, entertainment, food, funny, games, music, news, NSFW, party, political, products, religious, social, sports, instructional, nature, fitness, health, and other. So, if you really want people to understand what you're going to be broadcasting about, the topic of your broadcast... <clears throat> besides your title of your broadcast, you can give it a category. It will let people know of uh, what, what this broadcast is going to be about. Basically, um, those people that are interested in that in that field will find it. Um, of course, right here you have where you can basically rotate the camera from rear to front facing before you begin streaming. Let's see, I just rotated it, so now you can see my camera set up on my tripod. Um, but it will not start streaming until I click the start button. So, down here at the bottom, you have a menu tab of different things. One is a camera, which auto defaults when you open up, it goes to this page automatically, if you want to stream. Next over to that, you got this TV icon, which basically shows you live streams. And here's the best part. If there's no live streams going on, say you guys want to watch my stream. Say I'm going to stream a giveaway. But you had to be at work at the time that I decided to do the, the giveaway announcement. So, and I decided to do a stream. Well, you can't pull your phone out at work because you'll get in trouble. All streams save that are replayable. You do not need a third-party source to access the restream. The restream is right here. Natively in the app saved. You can watch it over again. That is huge. I, I can't tell you guys. Like I know Meerkat, they boast on the fact that either you catch the stream or you miss it. So they want people to basically just always be on Meerkat looking for their favorite broadcaster. But everyone has lives. Everyone has a job. Everyone has things they got to go to. And we can't always be on Meerkat. And I know they have Catch. You hashtag Catch on Meerkat, your stream saves to Catch, which is a third-party 
cloud source. But why go through the, all the trouble of having to go through a third-party source to save your stream if you can do it natively with Upeak? That is amazing. I have said this to several people that I chatted with on Upeak. Shout out to Glenn and shout out to Raw Vegan Black Girl. Uh, both have, you know, been uh, talking to me on Upeak and just um, filling me in with the ropes. So let me find one of my um, one of my streams here. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the quality. I was on LTE with just like one bar, just one bar, zero to one bars of LTE signal, and was able to stream. It's not HD quality, but you can you can see me. Okay, it's not super pixelated or anything like that. testing it out on the stream, so uh, anyone that catches the stream afterwards, if you'd like to comment and tell me, I deeply appreciate it. So down here you have basically the, the pause and play button. You could fast forward through my stream if you want to, if you just want to get to the end or whatever. Um, right here, I mean, no one chatted on the stream, but right here you would see people's comments. And that's really good because some of the replays only have the video part. They don't have what people commented. And so this actually captures everything that's on the screen. If someone posted a comment, it will be in the replay. You'll be able to see what people talked about, what people said to me, and what I responded to them. Also, even if the stream is over, you can comment on that stream, even though you're replaying it. You can leave a comment. I've done it. That is awesome. And of course, when you post anything here, it's going to save to your Facebook and to your Twitter. If you log into Facebook and Twitter, your comments, the comments that they post will post to your Facebook and Twitter. So you will always have a record. So even if like the stream is over and you're watching the replay and you type in a comment for that person, it's going to tweet them what you just said on, on the replay. That's very, very handy as you know, because you can all, you won't miss anything from, from your viewers. And viewers, you'll be able to communicate with the broadcaster even though they're not broadcasting anymore. So now it's going to um, <clears throat> load the replay. Well, I'm with my family right now to get some brunch. I don't feel like cooking right now. So we're going to the local taqueria inside the supermarket, which has some pretty good food. I think our session is going to like get worse as I get into the store, so I'm probably going to end this broadcast. But I'm just testing to see how well it, uh, how clear it is with LTE right now. So. See, so right here at the end, you can uh, click to follow the person, you can give it a like, you can post a comment, and it will go to them. So, I mean... Having the ability to watch previous streams, and, and, and there's no time limit, okay? That was, um, the brunch was from, I believe, the day before yesterday, so it was, it was on Monday that I posted that. Um, and you can always go back, as long as you have it, uh, the option turned on for you to actually save your broadcasts, it will save it. It will save it here, anyone can go into this, this timeline right here, into replays, find your stream, and watch it. So that is super huge. I cannot stress how broadcasters are looking for something like this. This is amazing. Right next to that, you get you know streams that are hot or people that's like hot on um, on Upeak. Okay, so uh, these are the rankings. You know, you guys can see how many hearts they've collected, and it's not like hearts like. Periscope where you know people tap the screen or whatever like you just got to like it You don't got to like constantly fetch and throw hearts at people um, Like you give them out, you know treats or whatever, you know, you like the person's broadcast you give them a like so far since I started using you peak I've collected 14 hearts Thank you very much for the 14 people that have liked my stream and um, Another cool thing about this is that while it is locally 
you know, you can find people all across the U.S. that's doing this right now, that's discovered this app and is using this app as their social streaming service. It is also worldwide. So there's people from Brazil. There's people from, you know, um, Asia. There's people from Europe that's using this. People from South Africa that's using this. And what's great is, is like, that's what the whole point of, of the streaming social service is, is not only to connect with people around your country, but to connect with people all the way around the world, see where they come from, you know, what they want to show you. I know it's popular for people to broadcast the area that they live in. Um, shout out to Glenn. He streams Vegas. So if you've never been to Las Vegas, I strongly suggest that you follow Glenn. You check out his streams when he's in Vegas. He takes you through a trip of, um, of um, southern um, the, the Southern Strip where the old casinos were at. I am planning to go to Vegas uh, for a family reunion, and I do intend to meet up with Glenn there uh, since he pretty much walked me through everything about this app that I tend to enjoy and love. Okay, you can also click for nearbys. So if anyone has like their, their location turned on and they're going to stream, it's going to pop up here for nearbys. Okay, they're nearby, you can catch the stream. But like I said, this is a fairly new streaming service, so not a lot of people are congesting it right now. So you have uh, a handful of people, basically, compared to the billions around the world that are using this. And I believe that this app really, really, really deserves great recognition. So here in the History tab, these are the streams that I've watched. Of course, I took a look at one of my streams to see how the, the quality was and playback. I also checked out uh, Glenn's stream, Las Vegas Strip, on a Sunday drive. So with this, um, let me go back to the stream here real quick. And I will show you guys how the stream looks. But um, definitely, this streaming service app, in my opinion, beats all. It's worth downloading. It's worth trying. It definitely is. So um, let me just type in a uh, stream demo here real quick. And I'm going to pick a category. Let me just put it in the social category. Put the camera around. And let's let's do landscape, and we're gonna click start. Now it's uh, preparing, so it says please wait. And voila, we're on. Now right down here it says you can say anything. So if I want to click that, um, I can say hi. Of course, it's gonna look like I'm tweeting myself. I can say hi to that, and drop down. There it goes. So in the replay, that will be right there. Um, also, if you uh, if you click the screen, you get these options right here. You can rotate the camera in the middle of your stream. So I can click that. I can rotate the camera around, and now it'll be my rear camera. You can turn on flash with the rear camera. Uh, I got to switch back to the front now, but you can turn on flash. Um, right there, as you can see, uh, the the streamer's profile. Down here, you can click to share. So if I click that, it's going to disrupt the stream for just a second. But I can share it to Google+. Plus. I can share it to Hangouts as a direct link to a friend. I can, it says I can share it to Snapchat, which is kind of weird because Snapchat is kind of different. You can tweet it out. You can send it a text message. You can put the link to Drive. Um, you can send it in an email. You can make a quick memo out of it. So you have all these sharing options, and that's something that I think is totally great. Um, up here, I'll tell you the, the number of people that's watching. Currently, no one's watching right now. And any hearts I you know that or likes that people have um, clicked that say that they like the current stream that I'm doing. And even after, when this goes into replay, it um, you can still like my stream, and it will, it will show me the numbers right there. So, above all, above all the streaming services that's available, Periscope, Meerkat, Stream with the Dot, you stream, you now. You peak takes the pedestal. In my opinion, from Aloha Android, five out of five stars this streaming service gets. Okay, sure, there's not a lot of people using it right now, but it's a it's it's a fairly new service. It's gonna catch wind. It's gonna get popular, especially with the ability to replay to save and replay your streams and there's no time limit to it there's no third party source for it it will it will save the stream for replay so anyone who who follows you on UPeak 
can come back and check out your stream. They're not forced to have to just, you know, risk getting fired from their job or something to check out your, you know, your, your stream that you posted that day. They can always wait till they go home, get relaxed, go on the replay, and watch. So anyways, guys, uh, so that's pretty much my review of UPeak. And um, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know by leaving me that thumbs up. It really helps me out. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Take two seconds to click that subscribe button right down there below, you know. And, um, yeah, you can catch more videos like this and future content that I put out in the future. Um, leave a comment if you have any questions about this application. But I definitely say you guys should try this out. This service is amazing. I enjoy it. So it's a definite go. My name is Tito with Aloha Android. Thank you guys for checking out this video. And uh, you guys have a wonderful evening.